This video is meant to help the total beginner. If you don't have any experience sideloading apps or have any knowledge about SideQuest, this one's for you. But if you're all set and just need help with BMBF, check out my other video I linked in the description box. Now let's get started. In order to play custom songs on Beat Saber, you need to follow these 8 steps that I'll show you in this video. Step 1. Enable Developer Mode Step 2. Log into the Oculus website and create an organization. No one else can see the name of your organization, so just name it anything you like. Step 3. Download and install ADB drivers from the Oculus website. Extract the contents of the downloaded file by right-clicking and clicking Extract here. If you are missing the Extract option, you will need to download a file decompression tool such as WinZip or WinRAR. Find WinUSB from the extracted folder and install it. If there is no install option, check the description box for the link to the tutorial. Step 4. Go to SideQuestVR.com and download and install the SideQuest version compatible with your system. Step 5. Connect your headset to your computer and allow USB debugging. The cable you can use can be a USB Type-C to A or a C to C, but never use the cable that came with your headset's charger. Make sure that your headset is on when you connect it to your computer. The status of the connection is shown at the top left of the window. Currently, it says disconnected, so wait a little bit for SideQuest to detect your headset. Now that it's detected, follow what SideQuest says, which is put your headset on and click Always Allow and then OK. Once that's done, status will change to connected and now you're ready to install BNBF using SideQuest. Step 6. Download and install the BNBF APK and Launcher from the GitHub page I linked in the description box. Make sure that you're downloading the correct version. Now install the two APKs you just downloaded. The status of the installation is shown at the bottom part of the window. Now we continue the installation of BNBF on the headset. If you just did a fresh install of Beat Saber, make sure to run it first once on solo mode before proceeding to the next step. Using your headset, go to Library, click Unknown Sources, and run the BNBF Launcher.
from here on, everything is easy, so just follow what I do on screen. Now you need to give it permission by going to settings. And turn on allow installation of apps from unknown sources. Now you can go back to the BMBF installation by pressing B on your controller. The fun part starts here because you can start downloading the songs you like by clicking the download button for each song title. Please be reminded that sometimes it seems that when you click download, nothing happens. So you click multiple times and it's gonna end up BNBF telling you that it failed. But if you check the playlist, it should be there. You will know that a download is already being processed by looking at the message below the unicorn logo on the left. All your downloaded songs are shown here. And when you're done, never ever forget to click Sync to Beat Saber. Do not launch Beat Saber yet. There's one last thing you need to do. Go to the library and find Beat Saber, but don't launch it yet. Just click the three dots and give it permission. Now launch Beat Saber and you can start playing your custom songs. Please give this video a like if it helped. Have fun!